This program is brought to you by Fruit Bouquets. Got a birthday coming up for someone you absolutely hate? Why not tell them to go screw themselves by sending a giant fruit bouquet? With just a few clicks, you'll be able to send someone 14 pounds of unwanted decorative produce that will go bad within an hour of arrival. Okay, I'm heading out for ladies' night. There's a casserole in the refrigerator. I'll be home at 11. Hey, Lois? Yeah? How would you find out the name of the actual actress who plays the AT&T chick? I left a list of hot commercial girls on the refrigerator. What is this refrigerator you keep mentioning? Are you talking about the sandwich house? I guess I'm not the only person with a useless husband. I mean, look at Mrs. Butterworth. Oh, it's so nice getting out of the house. If I had to change one more diaper, I was going to lose it. I'm in exactly the same boat. I mean, what would her husbands do if they had to change their own diapers? Different boat, Bonnie. Much different boat. Hey, I got an idea. Let's crank call them. <laughs> You're weak, Cleveland. You're worthless and weak. You found Brown. Hello, Cleveland. This is Michelle Obama. It is? Yes. I received all your letters, and I do like your mustache. Who is this? Is this a jerky boy? It's your wife, you big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have my own show. <laughs> Hello. We're calling from WQHG, Quahog's Hottest Hits, and we'll give you $500 if you can sing Britney Spears' I'm Not a Girl, Not Yet a Woman. You've got 10 seconds to... I'm not a girl, <laughs> not yet a woman. All I need is time. Oh, but you have to be able to walk. Ah, uh, nuts. <laughs> Hello, don't say anything about the 1998 Oscars. I'm watching it now. Hello, is this Peter Griffin? If this is the fracking people, I have made it clear that I am 100% on board. No, my name is Rebecca. You've never met me before and probably don't even know I exist, but you're my father. Hello? How'd you get this number? Don't you ever call here again! What the hell? He just got mad and hung up. He what? Why? I don't know. He sounded weird. Hey, Peter. So, um, anything interesting happen tonight? Yep, I finally peed that chunk of poo off the side of the bowl. You know the one you've been yelling at me about? Nobody called or anything? Nope. So, hey, uh, are you tipsy enough to let me have lazy Tony Soprano sex? You know, where, where I just lie there and arch my hips a little bit and breathe like a dying whale? Uh, I don't know. All right, well, just in case, I'll be upstairs getting into my boxes and black socks. Do you think it's possible he actually has an illegitimate child? Sometimes friends put wine out for each other. I just don't understand it. I mean, we don't keep secrets in this house. We didn't even keep the pop secret secret. Psst. Hey, did you hear? Hear what? Orville Redenbacher is gay. But he has a son. He's in the commercial. His son's gay, too. They're both gay. They have sex parties in the Hollywood Hills. What? Yeah! You're a psycho! All right, I'll see you later. What? Where are you going? Laser tag orientation. Well, that's obviously not true. Yeah, that boy got liaria. Oh, my God. I, I gotta follow him. Find out where he's really going. Good idea. If I was you, I'd stick to him like glue -aria. Okay, I, I think I'm starting to crack your code. Peter, what are you doing here? Lois, uh, uh, I was, I'm just, uh, shopping. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a large sperm, please. Nice going. Now you've ruined Christmas. Peter Griffin, you tell me what's going on right now. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll be honest with you. A long while back, just before we got married, I was a little short of cash. Wow, that's pretty good. I... You've got mail. Okay, but hang on. You were a sperm donor? Yeah, I'd almost forgotten about it, but then last night I get this call from a woman who says she's my daughter. Peter, that was me. I was prank calling you. You what? I can't believe you would do that to me. Can you guys argue elsewhere? You're making it tough to finish in here. No. Eh, maybe you're right. I mean, as long as we're here, maybe you should sign a consent form. Okay, yeah. All right, I'll do it. You know what? It feels good doing something nice for others. Like when I was a mentor for Kid Rock. 
Hi, is, uh, is Peter Griffin here? Oh, my God. Is everything okay? Yes, it's just... You look just like... What's going on? Who's this supermodel? I'm Katie. I'm your daughter. Your what? Holy crap! Yeah, I hope you don't mind the drop-in, but the, uh, the sperm bank said it was okay to contact you. Ah, I guess... I guess I just didn't expect this so soon. Well, we were all pretty excited to meet you. What do you mean, we? We're all your children. We came from your semen. Semen. <laughs> semen. Peter, how many times were you a sperm donor? Well, only once, but I had just seen Uma Thurman in Beautiful Girls, so it was kind of a kablamo. You ever seen those videos where they put Mentos in Diet Coke? Uh, listen, I want all of you to know how happy we are to meet you. In fact, this calls for a celebration. Can you all stay for dinner? Aw, oh, we'd love that. Wouldn't we, guys? Yeah, absolutely. You said it, babe. Yeah, Chinese Peter, very hungry. This is so exciting. For years, I have dreamed of one day traveling from Bavaria to play the accordion for my birth family. May I? <laughs> I have just one question for you. What are those? Oh, I get that, because this comedy has just made it to Germany. Wow, you look exactly like me. Yes, I'm not actually part of sperm donation thing. I'm your secret clone. We have been orphan blacked, and you soon will be dead. <laughs> Lois, Lois, can I keep the little person, Peter? No, they're too much work. But I'll take care of it, I promise. You always say that, and I'm the one who ends up feeding them and walking them and doing all the cleanup. Excuse me, I'm a candidate for a doctorate in classics at Wesleyan. It talks! Lois, it talks! <laughs> Whoa, that was close. You almost dipped one of your yabos in the marinara. Let me help you with those. Why, thank you. That's so sweet. I'm guessing you look exactly the same, too. You're in such great shape. Well, I do have tiny blue weights in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Larry. Hi, Lois. Is Peter here? Larry, it's only two in the afternoon. Peter's still sleeping off last night's party. Then why... why are you still in your pajamas and bathrobe? Oh, that's because I'm depressed. Is that why that sad Shell Silverstein blob is following you around? Who would ever fuck me? Anyway, we didn't really get a chance to finish our conversation yesterday, and I thought maybe we could grab some lunch together. Huh, that would give me a reason to get dressed today. Aunt. Ah, but look at me. I got ice cream all over my fingers. Do you have a napkin? No, but let me help you clean it off. Larry, are you turned on or starving? Can't it be both? Mm. Wow, Larry, that was unexpected. Shh, we'll discuss this later. I have to get back to my high school. Oh. Hey, Lois, where's your purse? Me and some of my kids are going to the movies. By the way, Dwarf Peter died. I didn't know what he ate, so I gave him nothing. His name was Tyler. He had a name. Everything you say, you say with pride. I like that about you. Anyway, where's Larry? Maybe he wants to go to the movie. Larry? Why would I know where Larry is it? Who is Larry? Well, never mind. All right, everybody bring your phone so we can text each other during the movie. Almost there. Almost there. Cost Mart? What are we doing at Cost Mart? I thought we could spend the afternoon eating free samples and watching Avatar on 12 flat-screen TVs. Oh, what fun. You know, Peter and I used to come here all the time when we were first married. We'd go to the film counter, then steal other people's photos and replace them with some of our neck-down noties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should we do that? Larry. Yes. Okay, but let's keep this friendly. You can choke me for just a second. You know, maybe I should just go ahead and do your whole back. Yeah, your bra strap is getting in the way here. I'll just bite it off with my teeth. What the hell? Oh, Peter, L look, calm down. We're just friends. He's just giving me a friendly massage. A friendly massage? Yeah. And... I'm in love with Lois. I knew it the moment we kissed. Kissed? Is that true? Yes, Peter, but I... You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 
everybody says, we don't need a homeowner's association. That's stupid, Quagmire. Well, this is why a homeowner's association. <laughs> What the hell? Why'd you kiss him? He kissed me. And I should have told you. I'm sorry if I hurt you, Peter. I guess Larry just reminded me of a younger version of you, and the truth is, I liked that he was paying me a little attention. The way you used to. <sighs> Maybe I have been taking you for granted. But I promise I'll make it up to you. I'll be the best husband ever. You already are. For God's sakes, when push came to shove, you stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with a much younger man and fought for me. All right, by the way, uh, thanks, all my kids, for stepping in to help. Really, really appreciate I love you. From that day forward, Peter and Lois never again... Oh, nope, sorry, there's still another scene left. Peter, turns out your initial instinct was right. You never should have let any of your children contact you. You said it. From now on, I'm making sure my sperm stays right where it belongs. In the bathroom sink. <laughs> <laughs>